Well, it, that's what Cannon said the first thing. He said, Where, where's it, uh, where's the smoke at? It's not supposed to, but anyway. What are you gonna work on next? Are they done eating? Or? Okay, you wanna unload this feed? So I'm uh, Dr. Jason Clear, and I'm Associate Professor and Extension Beef Cattle Specialist here in the Department of Animal Science with uh, Texas A&M. What I do is I spend most of my time working with ranchers, helping them to improve the, the productivity and ultimately profitability and sustainability of their operations. Uh, every day is a little different day in my job, and I, I really like that. Christy and I, we've been married for 23 years now, and um, we've got two boys. Kendall will be 17 in September, and so he's going on to be a junior in uh, high school here in Madisonville. And then uh, the younger one turned 12 uh, a week ago, and so he's uh, finishing up the sixth grade. He'll go into the seventh grade uh, next year as well. Um, they're kind of the center of our life, and, and they, they keep us busy. You know, essentially we're raising cattle and raising two boys. You know, when we think about uh, agriculture in, in general, it, it can be a very dangerous, you know, profession. There's things that that you do that uh, can put you in some unsafe situations. It's kind of a routine during the, the winter time, you're feeding cattle, and uh, this this evening that we were feeding, it was uh, about January 3rd, it was right after the first of the year. Went out to, to give them a couple bags of cubes, and it was dark, you know, it was kind of wet and, and muddy there, and went and to dump them in the trough, and you know, always careful to try to dump them and move out of the way, because they're, they're big animals and uh, one of them just bumped into me from behind. My knees kind of hit the trough, and so then I fell face first. And uh, unfortunately, there was another cow with her head right there, and so I just face planted into uh, the middle of her skull, and I blanked out for a second. Fortunately, the trough kind of caught me a little bit, but then, you know, as I stood up, you know, I just felt the blood all over me, and then I, you kind of have the freak out moment. I wasn't sure if I could get away and, and walk, so fortunately my sons were, were right there, and I screamed and uh, hollered at one of them, and uh, they got the cows away and, and were able to help me out of there. You know, they got me into the barn and got me in the light. And, you know, the, the good thing was that I didn't fall down and get stomped and hurt worse. You know, my nose just took the brunt of it. You know, if I would have fallen, then it would have been even more severe. Um, you know, it could have been a life and death situation. Broken nose is very painful. <laughs> it is painful for a couple of weeks. And, uh, and so, uh, you know, you remember that every time. So I think, you know, I'm probably a little more overly cautious now. You know, I've always been real careful out here and try to feed and get away from them quickly. 
Um, but I'm probably even more cautious inside the lot and I will take a sword and stick to just kind of nudge them away and, uh, you know, try to keep them from bunching around you as much. It's a scary moment. Uh, you know, the things that flash through your mind is that, you know, I've got my two sons there and they depend on me. You know, those things go through your mind that it, you know, it, it could have been much worse.